What's up YouTube, White Benny Guy here and welcome to this video tutorial on how to save your images in Photoshop the optimized way. To sum it up, your images can have two destinations. First is for printing, second is for web posting. So first let me discuss briefly about printing. This printing could come in different sizes such as 3R, 4R, A3, A2, A1, etc. and even for tarpaulin printing that can be used in giant billboards that you may see along city streets. And as simple as it is, whatever sizes your images are as shot, you don't need to resize it down. And all the more, never resize it up or it will be pixelated and a bit blurry. So let the printing company do their tricks in resizing it down. Now the second destination is web posting. I'm referring to images uploaded via websites, web pages, and most especially via social media, such as Facebook, Instagram, and others. In Facebook, for instance, we all know that this free social media outlet can be accessed via web browsers on desktops, tablets, mobile browser, and of course, mobile apps. So for best optimized image, we have to resize our images not to be too big and yet as well not too small. Speaking of optimization, what I meant here is for your images to have balance on two things. First is the speedy loading of your image and second is the quality of the image. So we're done with the intro, let's get on with it. We can do two things here, first saving the image and second posting the image in this video I will discuss about saving the image for like two decades the most commonly used resolution was 1024 pixels in width until today it's still being used by standard sized laptops but as a smart mobile phone emerges browsing images also evolved and in the past 10 years or so more and more users are using mobile and because of the reason that mobile screens are smaller than the desktop, phone manufacturers developed a mobile screen which is what we call now retina display. That doubles the resolution where images don't get pixelated when being zoomed in. So let's do this optimization step by step. First step, check your current image file size. In this example, I'm using an image with 2048 pixels in width. And as you can see, the image file size is around 3000 kilobytes or 3 megabytes. This file has the same 2048 pixels resolution but was saved simply by clicking File, Save As menu. Added note, if you've noticed that I've saved my image and sized it down to 2048 by 1365 pixels 2048 pixels in width is the double sized 1024 pixels having your image to use this size will work on mobile with retina display but 3 megabytes is still a big file size for web posting and will cause lots of delays loading it we need to optimize it to a smaller file size, which is maximum 500 kilobytes. To do this, let's do the next step. Open the file in Photoshop. Click File, then Export, then Save for Web. Then a pop-up window will open with all the adjustment tools you need to optimize your image. If you notice on your lower left, 100% file size will be around 3 megabytes. In this tutorial, we will be using the feature optimized by file size. On the top right corner, click the icon that says optimize menu. Then select optimize to file size. On the desired file size text box, type 500 to optimize image to 500 kilobytes then click OK now checking back in the lower left of your screen 
you will notice that the file size has sized down to nearly 500 kilobytes and there's not much of a change in your image click save to continue give it the file name and click save now go back to your finder or explorer and check the file size difference now check the quality difference besides the file size there's not much of a difference right now your image is optimized and ready to be uploaded to your social media account that will not cause laggy loading and yet still having a quality image I'll be creating another video on how to upload your optimized image to Facebook without getting size down and that video tutorial may appear at the top right corner of your screen like right now so that's it guys for this tutorial thank you for watching this video and I hope in some way I have helped you out so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions please post it in the comment section below and to get updates of my latest video do subscribe to my channel once again thank you for watching this is what Benny got wise out